In a recent video, I showed you guys a $350 rifle that's powerful enough to hunt with, but it's quieter than a pellet gun compared to this rifle that has serious not messing around power. Today, we got a whole lot of guns because we are getting library quiet on this video. I mean, shh, we're in the library. In fact, these guns are quieter than a bow and arrow. We're going to talk about all the different categories of guns and how really anything can be made super quiet. We men love our quiet guns, but if we want the ladies to love us, we got to look at products like Manscaped, which is today's video sponsor. You guys know I've been using Manscaped's products for a few months. They have great things like the Plow 2.0, an excellent classic style razor, plus everything you need to do your manscaping nose and ear hair. You don't even have to think. You're not going to nick yourself with things. these. They're made really well. They're absolutely cordless to use. And this thing is great for doing all your manscaping needs. So you look and feel your best. But in addition to that, Manscaped also has these great cologne fragrance refined body washes and other products that you need to smell your best. Go to manscaped.com and use coupon code BACKFIRE for 20% off plus free international shipping. I got some sweet guns to show you guys, but we've got to lay a little bit of a foundation before we can dive in too much here. Because there are actually three reasons that guns are so loud. The first is the actual action the way that the rifle loads another cartridge in. So on an AR, there's a lot of sound just from the action. Listen, that's happening every time you shoot. And because this is cycling back and forth, some of the blast from the bullet is coming out the action, which makes it a lot louder. So on a hunting rifle, if it were, a, for example, a bolt action instead of a semi-auto, this locks the sound in there. And yet, a hunting rifle is dang loud still. I mean, it just rings the canyon walls. So how would we make a hunting rifle quieter? So we have an action that's quieter. The second reason that guns are so loud is the bullet is breaking the sound barrier, which is around 1,100 feet per second. And most hunting cartridges are gonna shoot around 2,800 feet per second. And so it doesn't matter what else you do, if the bullet breaks the sound barrier, it's going to be loud. So this rifle is a CVA Scout, 350 bucks. It has a hinged action, so it locks that sound in there. But if we shoot supersonic ammo, meaning the bullet is going to shoot out at faster than 1100 about feet per second, it's gonna be pretty loud. Sounds like a gunshot. But if we switch, and so this is supersonic ammo, it'll say it right on the box. This is subsonic ammo. Subsonic ammo just has less powder or a different powder and bullet so that it shoots slower. So now, hear this with subsonic ammo. I'm gonna take off my hearing protection now for this so that we can kind of appreciate this. <laughs> it's still pretty loud. Well, it's like if you get a Doritos bag as a kid and you smash it and just taking that pressure of air and releasing it all at once, it's going to be loud. That's what a silencer or a suppressor is doing. It's when the gas comes out of the barrel, it's slowly looping it around so that it can be released more slowly instead of all at once. I like lots of different suppressors and so I'm surprised how much difference there is. Oh, that is just so <laughs> cool. I love that. So what could I hunt with this? You could hunt anything. So if, for example, the Coyote Down YouTube channel uh, has a video of shooting a deer with subsonic 300 blackout and it absolutely clobbers it. 
but you have to make sure you have a bullet that will expand even at slow velocities. That's still kind of an area of invention, and there are some states where you can't hunt with subsonic ammo. My kids absolutely love this next one when I shoot with them. So this is regular 22. This is the Thunderbolt ammo, and it sounds like a Thunderbolt's going off when you shoot it normally. So we'll just put it in this Browning buckmark. It really doesn't matter what pistol, and you'll hear it's pretty loud. Ah, yeah, that rang my ears. I should have put on hearing protection. It's loud, uh, <laughs> even a, a little 22. So we gotta get this thing quieter. Well, let's switch first to this CCI quiet semi-auto 22 LR. This stuff is really just under the sound barrier. It's gonna shoot around 1,050 feet per second. It's still pretty loud. That's definitely not library quiet. So just going to subsonic ammo isn't quiet enough. And it's because it's very blasty, especially when you have a super short barrel. But if you have a longer barrel shooting 22, it makes a big difference. So let's take that same ammo, this quiet 22 semi-auto, and let's put that in this Voodoo V22. Oh. Super quiet. That was way quiet. It's the exact same ammo, just that longer barrel, which is interesting because it's making it shoot faster. But by having that longer barrel and a bolt action that locks the sound in here, it gets super quiet. So let's say you're plinking with the ladies and you want to get to get quiet. That's where we would want to have a suppressor. So this is the Sparrow 22 from Silencer Co. This is a pretty inexpensive silencer as far as silencers go. I think this one's around $500. Now to get a silencer at all, it takes about six months. You purchase the silencer and then you have to wait about six months for the government to do a tax stamp that costs 200 bucks and do a background check and then you finally get your suppressor. But it's totally worth it because now, again, that same ammo that we just shot, but listen to how quiet it is. This is one of the quietest guns I have ever shot. You can hear the bullet in the air as it's just whizzing uh, toward the target. Listen to this. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. Isn't that awesome? You've got to try this one, Em. Oh, that's like a toy. <laughs> it sounds so cool, but that's 22. It's serious. You got to treat that, you know, can I as a firearm. Yeah. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> That's how you get somebody into shooting. That is just fun. Okay, I can do it again? Yeah. Okay! That's so this cool! Is fun. I like this one. <laughs> so the other day I was at a long range shooting class in Colorado. You guys were followed me on that video here on Backfire. And I was standing behind the cabin and I heard this noise. What the crap, listen to that. And I thought, what was that? I could hear it and I could hear it. Something was shooting steel, but I was like, what is shooting that? It's so quiet. And I heard it a couple times. I mean, listen to the sound compared to the birds chirping, how quiet it is. Mm -hmm. Then I saw where the people were shooting from and it was 200 yards away from the steel that they were shooting. And I was like, what the heck? How are they doing that from that far away, shooting something subsonic that was crazy quiet? I thought at first it must have been a 22 rifle. And so, you know, your average 22 rifle, it's still way louder than that. So I get over closer and it was so awesome. I said right then, I was like, I have to have that gun. That's incredible. Here's what it was. This is the FX Impact. It looks like just something from the future, how cool it is with gauges all over this thing and stuff. So here's what it is. This is a pneumatic rifle. It has a huge tank of air here that you fill with a separate scuba tank. So you get a scuba tank, you fill it up, and then it'll fill this a whole bunch of times. So you can shoot powered by air. You don't even need, you know, this costs 30 cents a shot for 22. This costs like 10 cents a shot, 
these are the slugs that it's shooting. So it looks like a, you know, a fishing weight, you know, a bullet nose fishing weight. Um, but it's 44 and a half grain, so a little bit heavier than what most 22s shoot. But this is a 30 caliber slug. So it's shooting a big frontal diameter. So you shoot a squirrel something with this and it is gonna wipe it out. Listen to how quiet this thing is. Oh my <laughs> gosh, isn't that cool? I love that. <laughs> you can hear that. You're whizzing off into the distance. Yes. Oh, and it's just ridiculously accurate. Anything I point that thing at, it is just dead on. So there's a little bit of a story here. You'll notice on this FX Impact, I don't have a silencer on this one. That, that's just the gun itself is already crazy quiet. But most air gun enthusiasts are shooting them with what they're calling moderators to differentiate it from a true silencer. It fits in kind of a weird legal spot. So the law is when you buy a silencer for a firearm, it has to, you have to buy a $200 tax stamp, go through that whole process. Well, that's for a firearm. If you had a suppressor that went on a air rifle, they're called moderators, then it wouldn't need that tax stamp because it's not for a firearm, which is what the law requires. There is a little bit of a sticking point though, and it kind of fits in a legal gray area because the air gun moderators, the ATF would argue, could be used on a center fire rifle, thus making them a suppressor and you can't just go out and buy it. There are quite a few companies that are just selling air gun moderators right now with no tax stamp anything because they're saying it's only made to handle the pressures of an air gun. It would literally explode if you put it on a 30 out six rifle or something like that. It can't handle that pressure. And they're threaded differently how an air gun is typically threaded. And so their argument is you could just buy it straight, uh, straight away without the tax stamp. For me, I'm, I always try to be crazy careful with all the laws and stuff. And so I've decided I'm not shooting it until I do go through a tax stamp because the ATF's argument would be that, you know, maybe a Flaubert uh, is a firearm, but the super low pressure that uh, it could work on, or what if a uh, regular firearm were threaded that way? I just am gonna ignore that kind of issue and just shoot it as is because it is just stupid quiet as is. You guys, this FX Impact, we need to do a whole video on it because it is honestly making me rethink my total approach to guns. The field of quiet guns is changing dramatically right now. For example, the shotgun is a gun that a lot of people have tried to create a suppressor for in the past. I mean, there are parts of a shotgun that you would never want to quiet, like that beautiful sound that we all know. Oh yeah, that's a good one. But the blast of the shotgun is difficult to suppress because, well, first of all, the BBs, the shot that's coming out of a shotgun, really usually doesn't travel very fast, you know, 1300 feet per second. And so dropping that to subsonic is not that difficult. The problem is because you have a bunch of shot coming out, if you put a suppressor on there, the, you're likely to get a baffle strike. The little pieces, the little cylinders in a suppressor could be hit by the BBs and cause all kinds of problems. There are companies that are addressing it, like JK Armament is making a suppressor now for shotguns. That's one that I am interested to try. The way they're doing it is with kind of a cone that keeps everything together so that just the plastic of the wad is touching the suppressor. But other rifles are changing cartridges. So we mentioned hunting rifles before, and we talked about how with some cartridges, you can get subsonic. This is an 8.6 blackout rifle. We talked before about the 300 blackout, like this little guy right here. Well, this is the 8.6 blackout. Whoo, baby. So this one is based on the 223 case, you know, your typical AR-15, your 223 case necked up with a 30 cal bullet. This is a 6.5 Creedmoor case, much bigger with an 8.6 millimeter bullet, huge bullet on there. The idea behind this whole cartridge 8.6 blackout is if we shoot a big fat bullet 
we could use it for hunting shooting subsonic. We want a big surface area to do it. So the problem with 8.6 Blackout is even if we were to shoot subsonic ammunition, uh. it's still very, very loud. And there are a couple reasons. One, we have a little bit of the AR action, but even in a bolt action, it's going to be loud when, it, um, when it's breaking that sound barrier and so much gas. So normally we would say, well, we put a suppressor on it. The trouble with that is most suppressors that you would buy for a typical hunting rifle are 30 caliber. And this is 8.6 millimeter, much, much bigger. And so you couldn't put a normal suppressor on an 8.6 blackout because the bullet would literally hit the suppressor and break it apart. And so you need a can that's big enough to accept that, which is a little bit more rare, though they are made. The cool thing though about this innovation with 8.6 Blackout is how they're rotating the bullet at incredibly fast speeds so that even if the bullet is going subsonic, it will still have enough friction there to open it up. I have a whole video on that um, on the YouTube channel, but I also have a video on the downrange sound of what, um, of what these guns sound like. And that one has been banned by YouTube. It can only be on Backfire Plus. Be sure to check out Backfire Plus at backfire.tv+. Thanks everybody for joining me here on the channel. We got some super quiet, awesome guns today.